Hello, I'm County Judge Executive Houston Wells. Welcome to County Connections. We're glad that you're watching today, and we have a special guest with us, Robin Antonucci, who is the chairperson of our Frankfort, Franklin County Tourism Board. Robin, thank you for being here, and we uh, have a special announcement that we're so excited about what's going on in, in Frankfort when it comes to tourism. Thank you, Judge. Happy to be here. Um, well, the announcement that is uh, coming up today, as a matter of fact, is uh, an award the county is receiving from the Kentucky Travel Industry Association. It is an economic engine award, and we in the county are being awarded that for the role that uh, tourism plays in our economy, both from the standpoint of uh, jobs that exist in our county relative to tourism, and the impact that economic impact that we have in our county from all of the visitors that come here so we're very excited to be getting that award and thrilled to uh, be part of the important industry that tourism is to kentucky wow that's great attributed to you and your board and your commission actually your commission that that uh you work so closely with so robin we're coming to a point uh that's very exciting for us and very attractive to tourism this springtime and springtime means derby time and so the derby festivals are coming and sure. we have some events in town tell us about what's going to be happening for around the derby sure um yep Tr uh, travel season has kicked off and spring is here so we're happy about that um some of the things coming up uh in our community Oaks Day will be celebrated the Friday before Derby. Uh, that's always a big deal at Buffalo Trace. They have literally thousands of people that come through Frankfurt, visiting the distillery, visiting our community, and then off to Louisville uh, or Keeneland sometimes. Um, and then, of course, the next day is Derby Day with our celebration downtown. So we're, we're excited about that and expecting lots of people. Uh, speaking of uh, Derby Day, there's normally a kind of a uh, governor's breakfast or a sure. governor's event. What's, what's going to be happening with that? Sure. The uh, state holds their, the festival downtown. They organize that event. Um, we will have uh, booths on the old Capitol lawn with folks from, from all of our attractions that uh, are represented. Salado will be there, Josephine Sculpture Park, um, the History Center, uh, lots of activities for kids. There'll be artisans, Kentucky crafted artisans selling their wares, live music that DFI is uh, organizing, and there'll be uh, a stage there with live music going on. Um, the Kentucky Cattlemen's Association will be serving food. Uh, there'll be West Sixth uh, Brewery there. Uh, the Capital City Museum will be open. Lots of things going on. So come on down. It's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, lots of the shops and restaurants will be open serving Derby libations. And uh, it's, a, it's a fun, fun day. And we are hoping for a great warm, dry morning. <laughs> I like that warm and dry. <laughs> Absolutely, Robin. You've uh, mentioned that uh, Buffalo Trace is uh, is part of the Derby Festival, and and we do know that there are lots of tourists that come in, especially during Derby time. But throughout the year, sure. and and Buffalo Trace has been awarded some awards for its tourism uh, aspect here mm -hmm. in Franklin County. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what Bur Buffalo Trace is doing to. Uh, to help us as a community okay. attract tourism and uh, and what it's doing okay. just n statewide. Okay. Yeah, they are a, a great uh, a great asset to have in our, our county. We're really, really fortunate to have Buffalo Trace. Uh, of course, 200,000 people visited the distillery last year. Um, they are working very hard on all kinds of, of new ideas and things to uh, uh, handle the growth that they expect in less than five years. They expect to have more than 3,000 people, 300,000 people a year. Mm -hmm. um, they recently uh, uh, opened their Bourbon Pompeii exhibit. They, by really happenstance, discovered some uh, uh, bourbon vats uh, along the river in a very sort of low-lying part of the distillery under a building. They've uncovered that, and it's really an archaeological treasure. It's right on the river. Um, so they are working hard to develop their connection with the river, and that is 
great for us because we are also, uh, as you know, um, working hard to promote tourism on the river and make connections so that we can accommodate visitors on the river from the Ohio through the locks, which are now open mm -hmm. in the summer months, uh, mm -hmm. all the way to Frankfurt. And um, so Buffalo Trace is, is making that connection. Uh, they are going to be expanding their visitor center next year. Um, and that's going to be exciting because that's going to accommodate more and we may be able to have a presence in that visitor center. Um, and of course they also celebrated their seventh, seven millionth barrel yeah. last week mm -hmm. and um, they uh, had a big celebration for that. So they, they are, the bourbon craze is, is with us and I think it's going to stay. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And we're right in the heart of it, aren't yes, we? We're we are. right in the heart of it and we are so proud of what Buffalo Trace is doing and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and tracking uh, tourism as well as mm -hmm. internationally, what it's, how it's selling. Buffalo Trace, our uh, bourbon industry here in Frankfort and Franklin County. Robin, it's, it's interesting. I was thinking as you and I have been talking, we've gone five minutes roughly, and we have not even mentioned about the capital. So 10 years ago, all we would talk about is really the capital for tourism. Today, we're talking about all kinds of other things. Yeah. That shows us what kind of growth we're having yeah. in tourism in Franklin County yeah. and not just the capital, even though the capital is beautiful yeah. and our historic buildings are beautiful mm -hmm. and they're attractive to tourism as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have so many assets here mm -hmm. in Franklin County. Mm -hmm. So what does the future hold for us as we move forward and we've Ten years ago, all we could talk about is the capital. Now we talk about the bourbon industry, and mm -hmm. and uh, actually we haven't even talked about, we talked a little bit about the river. We have Elkhorn mm -hmm. Creek and all the other things that are mm -hmm. happening. Where do you see the future? Well, I think uh, in the short term anyway, the bourbon craze will, will continue, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, I want to say that uh, I think that you know, we have a wide variety of interests for people and we attract all kinds of different people, not only the bourbon lovers, and we should also mention Three Boys Distillery here Absolutely. in the county, which is growing. And, and West Sixth coming. And up. West Sixth coming mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Prodigy Winery. Mm -hmm. So we have a spirits industry uh, that allows people to uh, experience those spirits, but we also have the history uh, of our spirits industry here mm -hmm. too. And so we, uh, I think that by uh, reaching out to a variety of, of people with different interests, history, uh, all of the things that a capital city brings, uh, outdoor recreation, I think that's a growing segment. Um, uh, so, you know, there's a sports, there's a lot of things here that, that have a wide variety of attraction for people. So. We're hoping that uh, we can continue and welcome everybody, no matter what their interest. Absolutely. That is awesome. It's so uh, refreshing to hear where, where we know the, where we've been and where we are today. And it's because of your leadership and your board. And we thank you so much. We are blessed to live in Franklin County to have so many assets. And we're blessed to have other people realizing our assets and coming in to see what we've got here. This has been uh, a great talk. Robin, I'm so, so proud of our award. I'm proud of where we are. I want to thank you for coming in and talking with us. We hope that you like and share this. This has been County Connections. Thank you so much for watching.